it's amazing to me how much things have changed in e-learning. For example, in, in the late 1990s, um, e-learning was in its nascent form, and it was really kind of an outgrow outgrowth of computer-based learning. Now things are different, and I think that e-learning is really more about collaboration and on-demand, um, on-demand pull, pulling the information that you need, and also in practice and outcomes assessment. And a lot of things that we thought were really important in, say, the early 2000s have turned out to be not so important. For example, the idea of redundancy principle. In um, this really classic text, E-Learning and the Science of Instruction, by Ruth Colvin Clark and Richard Meyer, they talk a lot about the importance of not having the, the information presented in more than one form. They talk about having um, a script, but then not having everything laid out on the screen as the same as a script. Well, today, in every, today's elements of, of e-learning and the, the kind of object-oriented approach, it's really important to actually have the audio script that is the actual um, text. Now, granted, you wouldn't read along. I w I'm not saying that that redundancy principle is completely dis to be disregarded, but things have changed a lot, primarily because of closed captioning um, requirements by law, and also just the ne necessity of, of being able to accommodate different multiple learning styles, multiple intelligences, and also just the fact that people are utilizing different methods of accessing the information, so they may be looking at things on their phone, they may be listening, they may be, it depends on where, if they're driving, they're obviously not able to read, or if they're in a noisy environment, they obviously can't listen to um, a recording. So the thing about e-learning now is the flexibility and the, the on-demand mm, on element of it. So interesting stuff.